Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do a double dip, this easy technique to do something nice with your paint that you don't have a lot left in your cups or something. And I just want to show you uh, how I resin them. I hope that you can see. So this is one of my diptychs that I done. These two will go to Ceramic, these two ladies. I think that they need one more layer of resin because I'm not so good with resin. Maybe you can see it this way. I definitely <clears throat> Uh, need and this is the copper one that I did. Uh, I really love this kind of tree look that you get with those double dips with MDF boards. You see probably imperfections that I have to uh, play a little more with them. And <clears throat> I have to finish my bag because I have taped it, but still, you see, I got those little things, so I will paint them and put a hanging hardware on on the back uh, to to uh, finish them. And today I have two round canvas boards, so I will try. Because it's different, you see, uh, when I did my those on canvas, uh, on MDF boards, I got totally different result than with two canvases. Not that I don't like this, because I do, I like it probably this way the most. Uh, with the white in between so you can you know hang it like that maybe and it's so as you can see you get totally different effects and I want to see what will happen if I use those canvas boards you know that it's canvas glued on the MDF boards if it will make any difference at all uh, and for my background color, or how can I say base, I will use this bronze gold today. This is Lucas bronze gold. I love this color because it's kind of deep, antique, almost bronzy gold. So I will just pour some on the canvas boards and spread them around. I really love this technique because uh, you can use up your uh, paints that you have left from pores because you need don't need a lot of paint just for a background but for this drizzling part you really don't need a lot so uh, and it's always so interesting because you get so interesting details not every time but most of the time last time when I played with that um, polyurethane satin varnish mixed into into the I think that I added a little too much paint on this one uh, into my white and with that really thin black uh, I got really interesting details too. Uh, maybe I can grab. No, I will show most of my dry results on my Sunday life. So if you want, please join me this Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because I will celebrate my two year two years university no 
univer <laughs> not university. Um, it's been two years since I start publishing. It will be on March 1st videos on my YouTube regularly so come and join me maybe I am preparing some surprises so my base is done I will just torch it for the air bubbles because there is a lot of air bubbles And I will use mostly blues today. I have this uh, Abeo iridescent blue-green and I mixed a little bit of Extreme Sheen Aquamarine into this one and I will just drizzle some of this on this canvas boards. You don't need to do any, I don't know, um, shapes or something. You just play. And I will add a little of this tin down white this time. I like to use this tin down paints. They are really thin, you see, they are totally runny. Doesn't leave any mound or nothing. Because I think that I get the, the, the nice lacing with those, I don't know, but I think so. This is my opinion. And the next one is, oh, Amsterdam Prussian Phthalo. And you don't have to have all paints the same consistency because you can get some really interesting effects if you play with the consistency and I have a mixture of Amsterdam greenish blue and metallic cobalt turquoise from Artist Loft because I have just a little bit of both left so I just mix them together and this one is definitely thinner than the Prussian blue was, but as I said, I don't mind. And Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. Whoop! There is a little too much of that. Probably. I'll just, I don't know try to cut it like this a little bit and I will add some of this white again maybe in other dire direction let's see I didn't do this technique on the round thing before so I don't know what will happen we will see just drizzling I like to drizzle paint. <laughs> Just drizzle and drizzle and drizzle. Uh, because I don't know. It's kind of unpredictable and I like it because it's unpredictable. Sometimes I want to have control, but sometimes I like this unpredictableness if this is the word and this is Arteza um, pearl deep brown chocolate Jeremy would say <laughs> I have really a little bit of this left just to maybe some dark contrast or something Okay. So I will press them together. I 
and you have to lift it because it will create different result if you lift it or you just because paint will starts flowing towards the bottom so and I didn't get a lot of trees I think that I lately add too much paint on it too much colors on the base maybe that's why it's not enough of that um, tree effect, I think. We'll just torch for some cell reaction. I really like the colors but not crazy about the whole design of this <clears throat> and what is here on the table you know I use those drip offs or how can I say to so I normally torch it real quick and careful because I have plastic and if I see something nice I dip my cabochons for the the jewelry uh, I will show you one cabochon just a second just have to because I will leave those two definitely I added too much drizzling just too much paint uh, so you see I this is one of the cabochons that I have here I don't know if I have one Line laying around here that I can dip and maybe show you just a second if I will find one real quick. And I have this, uh, I don't know what is this that you know, you just use for uh, and let's see maybe I can bring you a little closer here Probably like this part the most with those cells, or maybe not sure. Let's dip this part. And hope that you can see. And when this will dry, I will glue it to and have some nice, hopefully nice. Uh, What is this in, on the necklace? <laughs> I really like the colors, but 
I'm just not happy that I had too much paint onto this but still I kind of like it I will just put them a little more to the cleaner place kind of and take you for a close-up turned out a lot of um, kind of a normal dip but it's okay just to have a normal dip too sorry that you didn't saw that okay so There are our, our rounds. I love the lacing and the details, but as I said, I was hoping for more of this tree effect. But as I said, a mistake was too much other paints on the background color. I'm pretty sure that that that's why it didn't create those three effect like look but not bad at all i think and now i can show you maybe a close up of those two that are resin already I have a shine. I just love this lady here and this lady here. <laughs> this gold is really shiny. You see, and I didn't get a lot of lacing neither because I did, I added too much paint on the background so if you want the tree effect definitely you don't need to drizzle as much paint as I did <laughs> 